Hey folks, Jiminy Critic here with a fun movie for you to go see this weekend. Um, I'm going to review the movie Julie, Julia Ford. I just saw it recently in an early preview before it's come out, and I want to tell you I had a pretty good time with this movie. I, I you know, Bon Appetit, I'm Julia Child. Today we're going to talk about the ancient art of cooking the hog. <laughs> we're going whole hog, as it were, for this fine motion picture that we're talking about today. You can tell by the title, it's got, as, as you already know, I'm sure, it's got to do with Julia Child's life, and then it's got to do with this lady, Julie Powell, who kind of, it was going nowhere in life. And, well, let me back up just a second. This movie stars Meryl Streep, Oscar-winning actress, Meryl Streep in another good movie, Amy Adams, she's getting to be a really good up-and-coming actress in a lot of movies that you've already enjoyed, and I think this will be another one. And the famous Stanley Tucci is in this movie also, playing Julia Child's husband, Paul, and we get a lot of fun out of him during this movie as well. Uh, this is a biographical drama movie. It comes from Columbia Pictures. It's directed by Nora Ephron. Now, if that name isn't hit you right away, she brought us movies such as Sleepless in Seattle, a lot of people's favorite. Uh, You've Got Mail. That's a very popular movie. And the movie Bewitched. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have included that on the list. But anyway, she directed that movie as well. Lots of people chewing mastication, if I may, on the screen. You see love, hate, and boof boogin' on. And that's how we'll do it today. Uh, this movie, Julie Julie, is 123 minutes long, and it's rated PG-13 for, uh, you know, some adultish type language here and there throughout the film. Uh, but basically, it's kind of just a fun, uh, enjoyable film. Back to the storyline now. What you're seeing here in this movie, Julie Julia, is kind of the life, short life story of Julia Child based on her memoir, My Life in France. So we kind of see part of the film showing her and her husband and what they're doing in France. He is an ambassador, of course, and then she's trying to find out what to do with her life. She's kind of bored, wants to do something, wants to be involved, and as we all know, gets involved into cooking at some point. Well, they show that. Where if we get today, the beef, boof, boof. It's always in the French. You must always enjoy what you eat and what you cook. Lots of cooking, I say. Naps. And then we see the modern version here around 2002. This Julie Powell and her husband have just moved into a new tiny little apartment above a pizza kitchen um, in New York, and she's a cubicle worker, frustrated by her life, wants to do something, feels she's going nowhere, and just kind of out of the blue, she says she stole her mother's cookbook, Julia Child cookbook, when they moved into this apartment and decided that, hey, other people are out there on blogs and writing and on the internet and all over the place. I'm not getting published. She loves to write and she's not getting published. She decides to publish a blog on the net every day. She's going to go ahead and go through Julia Child's cookbook one recipe at a time for a period of one year. I think a total of 524 different recipes and see if anybody's even interested, how she does, if it picks up her life, and that's where this whole movie kind of has a lot of fun. We kind of go back and forth between Julie Powell's life and how she's doing, keeping up with her promise to do all this within a year, and we kind of cut back and forth to Julia um, Ch Child's life and how she's doing and learning how to cook. She loves French cooking and wants to bring it to American folks that, that don't know how to cook very well. Well, well, we're here today and we're talking about if you like to watch people chewing. That is what we're talking about. You want to, that's what you'll see. People chewing a lot of chewing. And you, know, you want that. You want a lot of chewing. And, and then you want to cut if you want it hot and you woo, woo, and that's it. And I just had a lot more fun with this movie than I expected to going into it. I really enjoyed it. I think the people play their characters very well. And for you uh, fans, Saturday Night Live fans, I know you'll never forget the impression that Dan Aykroyd had of Julia Child in one of the episodes of the early 70s Saturday Night Live. That whole clip is shown in this particular movie, Julie, Julie, and it might even be worth the price of admission just to go see that again. It's really funny. So I'm going to recommend to you to go see Julie and Julia and have a great time. And all I can say to you is, 
Bon appétit! Don't forget!